Hey guys, welcome back to Punishing Grey Raven. In today's video, we do have our first event for the game. Now, I had to go into the attic. I had to find my old textbooks from maths, bring them down, and spend about two hours calculating this stuff. So if any of my math is wrong, I do apologize. Check the pinned comment. If, if someone tells me that I got something wrong, I will make it in a pinned comment. If I have to, I will make another video. But I did get some people on Discord to check this math for me. So hopefully we are good. So I'll go through all the math, how the event works, to the best of my understanding, and hopefully get you guys across what we need to be doing, which really is me doing daily. There's, there's nothing you can really mess up that I can see in this one. So... Firstly, if we go over here, we go to the event. It's July 17th till July 31st. To me, that calcs out to 14 days from the 17th to the 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and the 31st. To me, that calcs out. If I'm wrong, I apologize, <laughs> but I started on the 18th as the first one. So 14 days is my understanding. That's the first bit of math. That, that was tough. That was counting. Uh, and then if we go into the event and we advance, I'll put a spreadsheet up in a sec. I just want to go through the basics of it. So we have two different types. My understanding is to get to the wide range and unlock it, you have to complete the the common one so you have to go all the way to the top of this common one and this is my understanding if any of this is wrong i do apologize like i said and i will leave a pinned comment so you go go all the way to the top that will unlock the wide range and then you gotta go all the way to the top to get all the rewards and this is where we do get this skin here um if we go down to s karenina and we go coding it's going to be this skin here. So this is the skin you're going for, S. Karenina, uh, which is it's a pretty cool skin anyway. So let's jump back. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Lee. Get out of there. Get out of there. Let's go into the event. So that's the way it goes. You do the common one, and then you go to the wide range. The reason that is, so if you look here, I've done one pull, and you can, my head's kind of blocking it, but you can see a little bit of a blue bar above my head, meaning I've made some progression on this one. If we go to the wide range, it hasn't counted to that progression. So common, then wide. Now, when we look at rules, um, we look here and we see what basically what you get for what you get. So worst case scenario, you get all three different. You're getting 250 points. You can see my research log. Uh, I got a repair, 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 man. Why can't I say repair? That's a really hard word to say. Anyway, I got two of, which means I got 270 for my first pull. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do here, go here, do your daily tasks. Daily tasks, really, really easy. You can't really miss out on them. Cumulative tasks. Now, you're probably going to want to do these depending. Like, for me, I'm just going to do... Um, like, so if I, I don't... My problem is with these events, because we don't know when Alpha is coming, I never want to encourage free-to-play players who are not willing to spend money to spend black cards. So I'm not going to make this decision for you. Because um, this, this event is going to be heavily RNG-based. So... Me, personally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my daily refills of stamina and I will get there. So I'm not too stressed about that. But free to play, like I said, I don't want to encourage you to spend black cards if it if that extra 500 black cards makes you miss out on alpha. So it's a really hard one for me to suggest what to do. So you make up your own mind on that one. Uh, but that's going to give you 80. So you got those two. And this does say use 500 um, mil of serum today. I think that's a typo. I think that's a translation error, and I think that's over the entire event. I don't think they're going to ask you to spend 500 daily. If it is, I apologize, I'm wrong. Um, but I'm pretty sure because they've got daily tasks, these are the cumulative ones. These should be across the entire event. Now, I did some math. So give me a sec and I'll open up my notepad. Oh, and just quickly for spenders, there are packs, limited packs available. Um, when I look at it, like this one's going to give you 35. It's going to give you some weapon pools, some black cards and a bunch of cell batteries. I actually think, and I, and I had, sorry, I haven't run the mask because I just realized this, but I think for me personally, I'll probably pick this one up uh, because this one costing you 99 rainbow cards. That is going to be an effective cost of say the 20, this, this one plus this one. So the 71 rainbow cards, plus the 34, because if you've got the 28, you'd be one short. So that would be $12 plus $6. So $18, provided I calculated that right, $18 will get you this pack, which has like um, event construct R&D tickets. And because you also get um, 10, uh, 2,500 of these at level 35, that means you really only for alpha have to have 10,000 black cards and you can get alpha um, at pity. So 
I think this is a pack that I will definitely buy. It only gives you 120 cell batteries, so it depends what you value more in the game. Um, but for me, this is actually a great pack, and I'll probably pick this one up. Um, so if you are a spender, take a look at the packs, see what you need. Um, maybe buy them towards the end so you know how many of these you need. If you fell short, then you can get the exact amount you need. But for me, like this has weapon research, but to me, I, I just think this, this pack's better. Like I'd, I'd rather get the uh, event construct tickets. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just That was just a quick one for spenders looks like a pretty good pack weigh it up at the end which pack you want to buy to get what you need so spenders okay so this is the math that i went ahead and did like i said i hope it's right so on the left hand side i've just got like common it costs you 20 um so the common costs you 20 wide costs you 50 and that's what you get for three different two of three of and then three anonymies that's what i got and obviously you get your pity every so often so calcs based off common Oh, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Tab. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> I was going to try and delete that line. That line stays because everything on the notepad's crazy. But calc's based off of common. Um, you get 200 per pity. Uh, so the worst luck means you're going to go 9 250s because 250 is the worst you can get. And then you get 500 for your pity. So every 10, you're going to get, what's that, like 2750? Yeah, 2750 per 10 pool. Uh, max rewards you need is 10,000. So what I've done over here is gone and added, put the days in, and these are ones we're going to be pulling on the common one. This is all calculated off the worst luck. So like I said, it's going to be very RNG based to get all the rewards in this one. So we've got that. So basically the first day you're going to do five pulls, get 1250. The second day you're going to do another five pulls. You're going to get um, four rounds of 250 and then your one round of 500. So that's gonna take it, and I've just added these up. So basically those every day, every second day you're getting your pity and adding up, and then you finally get to 10,000 on day eight from using 40 batteries, which leaves you 60 left over. So on day eight, you're then gonna use 50 batteries on the wide range one, which is going to get you one pull, which at worst is going to get you 500. Then every day you're going to get a thousand because you're going to do two pulls, which is going to be 500 per pull because you're using 50, you get a hundred per day. That's something I didn't actually put in here. You get a hundred batteries per day from the dailies. So then we're going to go another one, another one, another one. And then on this day, you're going to get a pity pull and then you're going to do one other pull. So that's going to take you up 1500 because you'll get the 1000 plus 500. Then this one, you're going to go up another another 1000 because you do two 500 pulls. And that is the last day on day 14. Now that leaves you with 10 batteries left over because we did have 40 batteries used here and 50 batteries used here um, when you're actually getting 100 per day. So we only used 90 on that day. Um, and then from cumulative rewards, we've got the stamina one which is 50 and we've got the the black card one which is 80 which gives you 130 which gives you a total of 140 which i'll touch on something in a minute but basically that's going to give you two more pulls at the wide one so that's going to make you get a total of 9,000 on the wide one so when we look at the wide one i'm sorry if this gets a bit confusing but when we look at the wide one and we jump over here uh, that's the, that's the common one. The wide one, 9,000 is going to drop us just below this, uh, these summon tickets. And keep in mind, this is with the absolute worst luck. What we need to get to is 20,000. I'm hoping they give us a better way to get it because you can actually buy these things, but it's 50 black cards for 10 cell batteries, which is completely horrible. So no one is going to want to do that. It's disgusting. But the one situation in which you might want to do it um, is over here when I just pop this back up. When I said we had um, 10 left over and we got 130 there, when we do two more pulls, that's going to leave us with 40 all up. So you can spend 50 black cards to get one more pull because um, that will take you up to 50 um, and get that done so that is something you can do at the end of the event if you've done every daily and you've done everything and you've had the worst luck you can do that now what i recommend doing is getting to your last day um, and on the last day after you've collected all the rewards and all that sort of stuff have a look at where you're at and how many batteries you've got left. If you only need 10 more batteries, then it might be worth spending 50 black cards to get one more pool, depending on your situation. Like I said, this one's going to be tough because it's going to be different for everyone. Um, no one's going to have the same RNG. This is all calced off the worst RNG possible. So I'm hoping with some decent RNG, people, most people hopefully will get there, but I ha it doesn't tell us the actual rates. So when we go to rules, it doesn't actually say like this is the rates of this happening. 
Um, but I mean, I guess you could calc it, but I don't know, like, so that's the other thing. I don't know how many symbols are in this thing either. I've only done one roll, so not sure exactly, but hoping most people can get the luck that they get there. But if you do have the worst luck, like I said, you will end up getting all of these common ones. You'll get all of them. And then you'll go into the wide range and you'll get just under here. Um, and you'll just miss out on that one. But obviously we all want to get to the top and get all the goodies because we all want the skin. So we'll have to see how it goes. Anyway, I'm sorry if that was confusing, but basic summary is do all your daily tasks. Just keep doing them. Keep doing your summons because common detector, clear that, then go into wide detector. There's nothing you really mess up. So just once you clear that common one, jump into the wide one and then just keep going and then just pray to RNG Jesus that you get the RNG to get you across the line. So sorry, that was a bit of a boring mathematic video and, uh, yeah, it was just a boring mathematic video, but hopefully that makes you guys understand how the event works, how I understand it. Like I said, if anything is wrong, I will put a pinned comment, and if anything's majorly wrong, I will update the video and delete this one if I have to. So that is going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers. <laughs>